Hi everyone, this is Sarah Russell and today I'm going to talk about um, an, an interesting distinction within the holistic health and nutritional um, therapy world that doesn't really get talked about that much and that stops a lot of people from fulfilling their vocation. And essentially most, most of how we are taught to talk about our work comes from a sales and marketing model. Many of us um, feel excluded from, from the style and the language and the values, but they are almost like the only language that is taught to us and that is spoken to us. And so we don't really have the words for what it is. So today I'm going to talk about the distinction between um, sales and service in the holistic health and, um, and nutritional therapy world. Um, to some extent, you know, I'm going to be contrasting uh, kind of like opposite extremes on what is really a continuum or a spectrum. So please do not be offended um, or, you know, don't think that that these are truly mutually exclusive. Many of us will incorporate some features of both. Um, so there isn't judgment in, you know, in, in the language that I'm using or in any of my intention. So I'm, I'm just trying to simplify uh, and explain something that doesn't really get talked about that much so that we can have a framework to, uh, to express ourselves as practitioners and, and to move forward in building and growing our practices, even if we do not fit into the sales and marketing oriented model. Um, so um, I'm going to break it down in terms of um, objectives or goals, client connection, um, style and values. In the sales world, the goal really is to sell and profit and to get and keep clients. Um, a sales oriented practitioner is going to be someone who's going to be like, oh, the more, the more clients I have, the better, the more money I make, the better, the, the more profit I make, the better, the longer I keep a client, the better. Um, a service oriented practitioner is going to have a different type of goal that their goal will be to serve and, and earn a living doing good work and helping people solve problems. So it is people-centered and service-oriented, whereas the sales model is more oriented. It's more practitioner-centered. It is, I just, I want money. And um, the more money I have, the better. Um, and then, you know, the, the people who are, you know, who become clients are, are in a way, they're, um, they're tools for, um, for the practitioner within the service, with, I'm sorry, within the sales model. So um, in the service model, the practitioner is a tool to help the client solve a problem and the client values the work of the practitioner and, and pays them so that the practitioner makes a good living versus in the sales model, where the, um, the practitioner needs clients in order to make money and, and the client is essentially a tool. Um, the objective is different. In the first one, it's profit. In the second one, it is serve while earning a living. Of course, nobody wants to work for free. I'm not saying that anybody should. Um, client connection style. Um, in the sales model, the, the, the connection style is going to be um, a sales and marketing style of talking about who you are and what you do. Um, the goal is going to be to sell yourself, sell your products, sell your services. And there is going to be a focus on um, appearance. Uh, you know, what will people think of me? Image, um, you know, looking good and, and saying the right things in order. Like it, it is more important to say what will attract clients than to... Um, than to be authentic. That is more of a service oriented communication style and connection style with clients and prospects. The client connection style in the service model is about communicating who you are and what you do to an audience so that you will connect with the right people that you can help solve problems. In the sales model, remember, the more clients, the better. Someone reaches out to you, your goal is to sign them on. It is not, you do not have the goal of 
asking yourself, is this, am I a good match for this client? Um, authentically, it is different. It's totally different. So when, when you communicate in a service oriented model, your concern is to connect with a type of person that you can truly help solve a problem from a, from a service centered and individualized approach um, that, that puts the client at the center and also, um, you know, remunerates you. Um, so authenticity is more important than selling uh, or marketing or appearance. Authenticity is more important than image. So there's less of a concern of, oh, what are people going to think about me? And more of a concern about, you know, how do I connect with people so I can help them uh, in the best way that I can. Values. In, um, in a sales-centered perspective, the goal is just to earn um, as much money as you can. And that is the ultimate end that justifies whatever it is that you do in order to make as much money as you can, get as many clients as you can, sell as much stuff as you can. More is better. So, you know, it is less important to you whether the specific thing that you're selling or the, and the person that you're selling it to are well matched for each other. The goal is just, you know, like I, I sell, uh, you know, like if, if I sell essential oils, I'm just going to want to sell a lot of essential oils and I'm going to tell everyone that these essential oils are awesome for everyone uh, because my goal is to sell them. I don't really like, it does not really even cross my mind of, you know, could this be dangerous for someone or their pet or, you know, for a pregnant woman? No, no, no. My goal is just to sell essential oils and your job is to buy them. Um, that is a sales oriented approach in a service oriented approach. You will want to, uh, your values will be wanting to earn a good living while fulfilling your passion and working with integrity. The idea in the service-centered perspective is that, you know, hol holistic really means it, it, it comes from whole, the, you know, the entire, uh, everything. Um, so the service-centered model is holistic. It looks at the whole, uh, the whole picture of the client practitioner relationship, the health journey, the practitioner's situation, you know, so I, I have a vocation, I have passion for my vocation, and I want to make a good living. All these things fit together as pieces of a puzzle uh, that complete the big picture versus, you know, I just want to sell, 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 make as much money as I can, get as rich as possible. And um, everyone who crosses my path is a potential, you know, person that I can, you know, like sell uh, whatever it is that the, that the um, trend du jour may be. Um, it could be, you know, like a program. It could be, um, it could be essential oils or a specific supplement that might be trending or, you know, like the next protein powder or whatever it is uh, to whoever at, you know, and, and, and the goal is just so that you can get rich. Um, a lot of people feel alienated by the sales model because they have a passion to help people solve problems. And they are under the impression that the only language that will get them there is the sales centered language. And I'm here to tell you that there is an alternative. There are ways that you can communicate who you are authentically, whether or not you choose to use social media, you don't have to, but most people ultimately will, you know, have that as part of what they do. But you don't, you literally everything that you see people doing, you don't have to do all of those things. You get piece by piece, item by item to ask yourself, is this aligned with me? Do I want to do this? Um, does it, does it fit who I am? And, you know, it can be dynamic. It, things can change over time. So, you know, you may start out using social media, then you may, you may realize, oh, this is not, this is really not for me. I don't feel comfortable here. Or, you know, you could choose a different style of being on social media. You could take a break from it. You could stop using it altogether. Or, you know, you don't have to use a smartphone or you could use a smartphone or, you know, like all these things are optional. So just because it looks like everyone is doing those things does not mean that you have to do those things. Your question is, who am I? How can I communicate who I am to the right people so that I can fulfill my vocation? And um, one of my goals in setting up mentoring groups has really been to create a space 
for people who are in a more service oriented framework um, to, to really just have a paradigm that that they can use and feel comfortable with and that doesn't you know like make them uh, feel like they're going against their values and who they are in order to set up a uh, practice it can be really really exhausting to be speaking someone else's language you know if you are a service oriented professional to be using the sales and marketing oriented language is not going to feel right to you it's going to make you tired it's it's you may not even find that the right clients come to you and you don't enjoy the work and you're like, but wait, I wanted to do this. Why am I not enjoying myself? Why am I getting burnt out? So it is really important to know who you are and where you fit along this continuum. Um, and if you are a service oriented professional and you're struggling to build, you know, to find yourself um, having a framework that you, that you feel is authentic for you, I would love to, to help you. Um, and um, I have a couple of different mentoring groups and I would love to talk about, you know, which one or, or maybe both could be right for you. Um, so I hope that you'll connect and um, I'm looking forward to talking. Okay, take care.